What's happening, y'all? Look here, I'm back with another one today, and I'm gonna touch on motivation, y'all. Self motivation, and just standing your lane, standing your zone, doing your thing, staying true to yourself, and just staying focused on what you gotta, uh, what you wanna accomplish in your life, right? So, um, first off, you know, the first thing is this, y'all. You gotta be comfortable with the person you see in that mirror. If you don't like the person you see in that mirror, it's gonna be hard for you to, to adapt to reality because you're gonna be constantly at war with yourself, right? So that's number one, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be happy with yourself. Now how do you be happy with yourself? How do you become happy with yourself, rather? Bro, it's different for a lot of people, but you gotta learn to accept who you are. You gotta just know yourself and learn yourself and just understand yourself, right? And just be happy for who you are and just, just accepting of your conditions, your circumstances, and you know, those are the first steps right there for you to be able to become happy with yourself and to be accepting of yourself, right? So once you can overcome all your negative feelings about yourself, you know, your, your your shortfalls and things like that, things you don't like about yourself, you know, because you got to realize everybody has flaws. Nobody's perfect. I don't care how admired somebody is, how reverent somebody is, or how um, people catapult people um, in the limelight. Everybody has flaws, and a lot of people who are casted in this limelight so high, Sometimes some, a lot of these people are depressed. A lot of these people hate themselves. A lot of these people live with demons and they're fighting all kind of uh, all kind of stuff in their own. Um, yeah, they got to deal with. They're fighting all the time, y'all. So we got to stop looking at other people and wanting to be like them or thinking that you know their life is better than yours and stuff like that. Just focus on yourself. You are in your own skin. You are in your own body, and so therefore you. Are the controller of you. You have to take matters in your own hands and just push forward, regardless, right? Regardless of what people say, regardless of what you hear, regardless of what's going on around you, you gotta know that you can do whatever you wanna do because when you get your mind made up, you can do, you're, it's done, you're unstoppable, right? So you just gotta be, a, you just gotta be a, uh, learn how to self motivate and, and just go out there and do it. Stand on your team and then just trust and believe in what you're doing. You know, um, whatever it is you want to do, you know, do extensive research on whatever it is that you want to do, right? Learn everything about whatever you want to do so you can master everything that you are into, right? You know, so as human beings, y'all, you know, we get, we get, you know, we, we get highs, right, from accomplishing things. It's just natural. So that's why I say this. You know, research everything. Try to learn the things that you want to get into, things that you think will better yourself, right? So, you know, once you start learning and once you start making progress, then you can start seeing results and that's, those results start to make you happy, right? So you gotta just move in the right footsteps, that's all, right? In this game of life, y'all, it's about getting these formulas down pat. Thinking outside the box, being creative, you know, not being like everybody else, but just doing you and focusing on you. And you gotta be tunnel vision on what you're doing. Don't let nobody hinder you. Because we got one shot at life. And we need to live this life every day on a constant mission to achieve greatness. For real. We are here to break generational curses. We're here to better the world, to better our families, right? So, you know, we want our offspring to have better lives than what we did, what we had, right? And we want to continue that cycle. So it starts with today. It starts with yourself. You know, sometimes just draw, make a list of things that you want to do, some of your goals, right? And then start looking at some of these goals and see if they're realistic, see if they're attainable. Right? You might have to go back to the, your drum board and you know revamp some things, but just make a 
list of things that you like to do with yourself, things that you would like to be, right? You know, just goals and aspirations. Just list these things down and actually see how realistic or how capable you are of achieving achieving them things, right? And if you can, um, if they're achievable, if they're reachable, if they're attainable, if they're realistic, then go for it. You know, don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody hinder you, man. Now, in the meanwhile, we want to have fun, right? Have fun. Everything is not a, a rat race to success or a rat race to get yourself together. Or, you know, live life enjoying the essence of it, embracing it, right? Learn to have fun. Learn to smile. Learn to laugh. You know, don't be so uptight about everything all the time, especially with your loved ones and your friends and with yourself. Treat yourself. Reward yourself. Enjoy family, enjoy good company. Embrace those things right there. All of these things right there make you a better person, right? Learn how to weed out the nonsense in your life, right? Become that magnet that attracts nothing but positive energy. Become that person that just attracts nothing but good people, right? You wanna be the light. You want people to see that, okay, that person got a good heart, that person, uh, I, I want to deal. With, I, I want to. I want to be around that person now because that person got some good energy. That person going somewhere in life, right? That person about happiness. That's what you want. You know, you want to build a community of happiness. You want to build a village of happiness, right? But it starts with yourself first. Learn to enjoy yourself. Learn to just be happy with yourself. Learn to embrace being alone. Find some quiet time. Meditate. Just think, y'all. And that's how you get to find who you are and what you want to be and how to motivate yourself is when you get to yourself and just start to realize and understand who you are. And then you can start walking in them footpaths based off the type of person you are. Just be positive about everything. Anything negative, use that as the fuel to motivate. Continue to overcome regardless. Right? Learn how to use your mind. A lot of stuff that pisses us off, that tick us off, and that send us on these tangents, and that send us into these bad spaces and cause us to be stressed out, is because we don't have a strong mind. We, we allow these things to happen. All we gotta do sometimes is just, before we spaz out into this dark space or this negative energy, all we gotta do sometimes is just sit back and just think and just meditate. That's why it's a it's a habitual process. You gotta constantly do this every day, all, all the time. You know, it, it, it's, it's a habitual process. It's not easy, but you gotta learn to try it. And then in turn, over time, you start to see results because you start to deal with things better. You start to handle things better. You start to cope with yourself better, right? So that's how you wanna move, y'all. Um. Anyway, learn to just just enjoy this existence that we have, because it's all the existence we have. And I know all this sounds like a lot of talk to a lot of people, but this is what we got to do. Depression is real, y'all. Mental health, bad mental health, is real. And all of us suffer from, from these things in, in different ways. Believe it. Some of your most successful people suffer for the, for, for, from these things um, a lot. You know, success does not mean you're going to be happy, right? Having all the money in the world doesn't mean you're going to be happy. Having all the material possessions of the world doesn't mean you're going to be happy. Learn to just be happy with what you got now. Be thankful and grateful for what you got now. And, you know, have a certain level of contentment, you know. Because we're not promised none of these things. We're not promised a, a long life. We're not promised a good life. We're not promised good health, right? So just learn to embrace what we have now. Enjoy what you have now and enjoy what's going on now. Even if you're in a bad situation, it could be worse. There's always somebody doing worse than what you're doing, right? Um, I, and I like to say this right here to a lot of people who complain about finance and money and stuff, right? I tell them, look, we're, we're Americans, and so 
a lot of us complain about not having enough money to go party with or go to a sports game or to go get some clothes and shoes or go get a hair fix or to just do some of the things that we like to do to let our hair down and enjoy these, you know, uh, this life that we have, right? But, and, and this is a lot of us on to, to these depressions, but the thing is, I tell people, look, America's, I mean, Americans are so blessed because a lot of us, most of us are amongst the richest people in the entire planet, y'all. Believe that. Americans are amongst the richest people, even our poor. Our poor live better than a lot of poor, or a lot of people who are not even considered poor in the world. Our poor here live better than a lot of people across the planet, y'all. So we just gotta learn to understand that look, life is just a blessing. And it's not guaranteed for us to have anything that we have. This stuff can all be taken away in an instant. As we see what's going on right now, America is 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 in is in a slippery slope, right? Uh, we're not doing as good economically or financially as we once was, right? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on that can cause us calamity and overnight. So we just gotta learn to understand that look, we're just blessed to have what we have, and we gotta embrace it, y'all. If people don't deal with you like they used to deal with you because you change your life for the better, well, so be it. So be it. If they took themselves out your life on their own, that's what's up. That means you're doing something right. If you change your life for the better, right? Maybe you got married, you settled down. Maybe you uh, just elevate yourself mentally. You don't use profanity no more. You don't sleep around no more. You don't go hang out in the same spots no more. So and your conversation has changed, it's elevated. You've grown to a mature, more of a mature person, more responsible person. And now people that you used to hang around don't want to be around you like that no more because they, they're talking about you and they feel like you changed on them. Well, guess what? So be it. If you don't change with life, if, with time in life, you will be lost in time in life. And one day you're going to look back and look at this and if, 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 you, if you hadn't changed and adjusted to reality and you're going to be in, in a regretful state of mind, regretful state of being, right? That's not that's not cool right now. That's not nothing that you should want to go through anyway. But anyway, with that said, y'all, I'm going to get off of this little tangent, this uh morning motivational tangent. I'm going to say morning motivational positive tangent. That's what this is. And, um, uh, just keep pushing forward, y'all. The sky ain't the limit. Y'all can go past the sky. Keep doing your thing. Don't worry about what's going on around you. Maintain your lane. Stay focused, hyper-focused on what you got going on. You know, always uh, celebrate the victories in your life. No matter what, no matter big or small, celebrate them. You don't have to go spend a bunch of money with this. You can, it's just different things you can do to celebrate and reward yourself. You gotta figure that out for yourself. With that said, I'm about, to, I'm about to get up out of here, y'all. As you can see, the weather is changing up on me. Visibility has dropped. And I still got about another five and a half hour drive to where I got to be at. And uh, so I'm going to stay in my lane. hyper focus on doing my thing. With that said, y'all, organize your family. Keep your circle tight. Keep a backup plan for the backup plan. Stay positive. Keep game. Be between the lines. Keep your eyes on the prize, y'all.